Our next guest is one of the biggest stars on the planet. Uh, I know him, and I can't tell you how I know him, but I do. Uh, and he's just added being an author to his resume with Just Because, which is out today. Actor Matthew McConaughey is a true visionary, known for films such as High and Confused, A Time to Kill, Amistad, Mud, and Dallas Buyers Club. McConaughey is a versatile actor whose career has allowed him to experiment with a multitude of roles. He also released his book Just Because. To the show, a very iconic moment in view history took place. <coughs> when you were here in 20, uh, 2006, you gave our very own Joy Behar a foot massage. A highlight, a highlight <laughs> in my a, life. We have a clip. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. baby. Oh, Just start rubbing all that. Put your feet up. And every, every, <laughs> every, uh, every sister in law. Oh, yeah. Just turned around and fell in love with my father. My father just used to do this. It's very nice. He did the move oh, It's very nice. Oh, all right, well, Joy getting her feet rubbed. Wait, the other one. Yeah. 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 You know, I thought she was joking all the way through, but no. Look at her sitting on the table with him. Maybe it was too much, but as a joke, it was great. They're lucky Matthew knows how to handle these situations. Let's keep watching this madness. Yes. Because you have a, you had a best-selling 2020 memoir called Green Lights. Mm. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. I believe you were here for that, weren't you? You should have been. <laughs> and now you're out with a children's book called Just Because. And yes. I heard that the idea for the book came to you in a dream. Yes. Does, does that happen to you often? I do dream in rhythm and in music, thankfully. Oh, wow. um, it's not always great music. This one happened to be what I thought was good music. Yeah. Um, and it woke me up in the middle of the night. You ever get a rhythm like a song in your head? Yes. Well, I had an original tune. It was like, ooh, just ooh. because they <laughs> threw the dark, don't mean that it's yeah. tough. I get tunes in just, my head a lot. You know, yeah. just, just because <laughs> you got skills don't mean there is no luck. Dun, 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 dun. So I kind of <laughs> thought it was a, a Bob Dylan ditty, ooh, which it sort of was. Yeah. Yeah. And I woke up and I wrote it down for four hours. And then went back to sleep for a few hours because you got to do that sometimes you to do. double check. Yeah. You know, yeah. is what I was inspired by at 2 30 yeah. a.m. still yeah. good? Yeah. I woke up at 9 30 and there it was. And I said, I think this is uh, some value in this. Started having fun with it, running it by my kids. Found a bunch of couplets that my children were like, oh, that's interesting. I've been through that scenario. Oh, let's talk oh. about that. So that is what turned out to be in the book just because. Very nice. Whoa. You know, I didn't even think she wrote it like that. Have you ever had a dream like Matthew's? Make sure you do. But you know, I think it's a genius approach to writing something cool that's not in the box office. Let me, uh, I want to applaud you for being so outspoken against violence and gun violence in particular. Mm. In particular, um, and you're a Texan, and, and you spoke so passionately at the White House last year in the wake of that shooting at Raba Elementary in your hometown of, of That's of why we're Ubalde. wearing these little pens, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, your We're wife evolving. held up one mm -hmm. of the victims' yeah. green converse. Yeah. Uh, her name was Maite Rodriguez. Her yep. mother, uh, Anna Rodriguez, sent these to us. Oh, yeah. And to learn more about it, you can you can uh, check our website later. But I remember that you and um, your wife um, uh, were very involved there. And now you have launched the Green Lights Grant Initiative to help make schools safer. Yes. Please tell us about that. Thank you. You know, it's a very serious subject, and I'd like to hear it. Before you do, you should know that in his message, McConaughey asked Americans to find common ground, to re-examine our wants and needs. He placed the blame on every American adult, regardless of their political views. This is an epidemic that we can control. And no matter what side of the aisle we stand on, we all know we can do better. We must do better. Action must be taken to ensure that no parent has to experience what the parents in Sewald and others before them have experienced. For the opportunity to. So what we found out after, after what happened at Robin Elementary and in many other schools, um, uh, the first bill was passed in 30 years to help make schools safer. Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Billions of dollars to safe in schools. What I find out uh, months after the bill's been passed is that very few applications are going in from the school districts. And for those that are applying, very few are getting granted and awarded. Mm. So the money's still there. And we're like, wait, where's the gap? Well, we found out that these superintendents that have to fill out these grants to the government. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are driving the school bus and they're the PE teacher and this grant process is 50 pages and it's intimidating. Wow. And I don't know about y'all, but I have trouble making it through filling a custom card out without yeah, having to yeah, scratch yeah. stuff out. It is intimidating, so they don't have the expertise or the time. 
Um, the government wants these grants to be filed. They want to spend the money. It's use it or lose it money. And if we don't spend that money that the government has by 2026, it could be reallocated. So with the Green Lights Grant Initiative, which you can go to greenlightsgrantinitiative.org to find out more about it, we're helping with the grant writing process. Oh. We've hired grant writers that are coming on to go to these schools, the most, the highest need schools, lowest capacity schools throughout the United States that need the safer schools the most. We're helping them write the grant. Oh. So they have the most, the, the most opportunity to get successful to get the grant. Well, it's a great initiative from a great actor. I absolutely love his ideas. Matthew is quite a sensible person in this respect, and his ideas can be safely implemented, and we really need them here and now. Friends, what do you think about this? Write your opinion in the comments and don't forget to watch other shocking news on the channel.